Okay, so. Oh, yeah, you did the game, you unlock the gallery. I'm guessing if I do play some more, I unlock the demon art, but <clears throat> some of this art's amazing. Oh, that looks cool. All the detail in the armor. I like how it has a bunch of nicks right there on the big old shoulder where people try to take swings at his head, but that saves him. With the giant pauldron, saves him. With almost that sea snail shell design. Mm. Sage Freak. Sage Freak. Hey, yeah, magic, fuck you. I have a rapier, stab you. Magic, 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 magic. Ugh, stay away from my knowledge. <laughs> oh, the prison. Oh, wait, I didn't recognize that. Last time? That's actually really cool. Wait, where's Spunky? Spunky, honestly. Love you, Mr. Spunkers. Oh. Fuck my phone. I can watch that video later. <clears throat> but, pretty much what the art that they use at the end credits, you unlock it when you beat the game. It's freaking awesome. That scared me. I was just like, what? He's a wooden puppet? It's like, that's kind of freaky. Or it's just like, does he even have a body or did the demons claim it all? And then you have the character renderings. These are really nice too. So there he is again. I never noticed that his, his skin had a wood grain texture to it. That's the brothers, the two smiths. I didn't notice, I didn't know one of them had a ponytail. I don't know which one does. I'm guessing it's the one that's sitting in the Nexus, since you can never see the back of him. But that's funny, and they both have one gauntlet each. I wonder why, and they're on different hands too. One has it on the left, the other one has it on the right. The hands of God. <laughs> <clears throat> made into gauntlets that they could just wear and boom 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 to test their strength. They would fight with their bare fists because of pure strength build you can just do bad damage with just your bare fists. And those weapons scale with faith so the higher your faith the more ridiculous those weapons are. Sage Freak. I'm guessing all that scales with magic and intelligence. Mm -hmm, that's some pretty nice army. Yuria the witch. Yuria. Scary. How oh, she actually looks like someone real. I'm like, Rosaria Dawson, is that you? I'm like, you're already a Sokotano and you're a witch too, that's pretty cool. I haven't met this character, so I actually want to see where, who this NPC is. I'm like, oh wow, that's my god, that looks like someone I know. Hey, Jay what's up? <laughs> Just like, what's up? Oh shit. That you die girl, what you doing? <laughs> oh shit, what's up, Misty? <laughs> Patches, this is like <laughs> this is a the blue knight. I'm guessing that's just like an unnamed character, like typical NPC typical hero character, one that would create, and then you start off with the leather armor. It looks like chain now, standard long sword. Don't know who that character is, that was really cool. I'm like, what are you, like some ninja guy and Soul Calibur evil? Yeah, the outfit screams evil, it's just like you bay guy. I'm like, oh snap, what's up? That dude's cool. Got a mustache. Miranda, executioner. So hilarious. <clears throat> In the art, he's younger. Say Urb Urbane. Because if you look at. Or at least one. I was talking to him throughout the game. He had white hair, and here he has like brownish sand blonde hair, and then he has like a five o'clock shadow goatee going on. And I'm like, whoa, did he recover his youth? Is that why I wasn't supposed to trust him? Oh, wait, I need to go through all of them. 
old King Dorian. He has the both brands combined into one sword. And then you go back to her. And then environment. Ooh, that looks like a church. <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. That's cool. Oh no, the dragon is all like you bet it. Mines. <clears throat> That's where the flame marker is. Dragon God. Prison of Hope. I like how the chains look like a web. Spider's web. Man, that's cool. What a cool stuff. There's environment concepts, visual concepts, general concepts. Advantage key Steve. Advantage key Steve. <clears throat> Okay, so where Where can I get the furthest? And what would be beneficial to me? Hmm. Would it hurt if I got through this? It's a lot of fire. I change my sword. Oh, thank God. Oh, I was sick. sick. If only something could be done to help him. Okay, storage. I forgot what to do with that. I should have looked it up when I was peeing. <laughs> it was a bathroom, so we stopped. <clears throat> I was also supposed to get myself a bottle of water, I forgot. She's my new monster. It's tick, right? No, trick. Lucy or Tracer? Tracer, no. No, that's Spunky's dog food. Don't, don't eat my dog. Why are you even in my room? Get out of here. No, and I can't control this cat. It's got super powers. It looks really like a gold sword with an intricate design. Its physical attack is ne ne negligible, but it's fortified with an arcane force protecting its wielder really from magic attacks. A weapon of a great hero of legend. Also, build a matchy little shield. Oh, that is so cool, though. It's so epic. Oh, that is so epic. What does it do? So, it's got 50 physical, 10 magical, fire damage 35, fire rate 35. <clears throat> so, the only bad thing about these weapons is that I think most of them require the colorless demon souls in order to upgrade it. Is why I'm sticking to my swords. Speaking of my swords, where's my katana? There it is. Gimme. Gimme. Okay. Like, pretty much all these special weapons require the color of the steam and soul in order to upgrade them. Where's my moon long sword? I can't wield this. Oh, 24 faith. See how it has an S scaling with faith? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Epic. Demon brand, soul brand. Nice. Lord. Okay, so. Is this. Oh, this goes with strength and dexterity. It's got a better scaling with strength. Man, I remember when these weapons. Required a ridiculous and like, a m high amount of faith in order to wield them. I wonder what they changed it. Wow, oh, that was so cool. Can't believe I got this weapon. It's so cool. Swing! It's a great sword, but it's so light. It's only two. It's only weight is two. It's just like, what? What? And it's like, that's right, it's amazing, the legendary large sword that shines with moonlight. Strongly associated with the Moonlight Knight Vito. 
one of the few remaining relics of God. The blue crystal blade is comp composed entirely of light. Mm, that's pretty cool, actually. It's composed entirely of light, making it impossible to block with a shield. Mm, it just cuts through it like a lightsaber or something. It's pretty rad. A legendary large sword with a barbed blade, named the one who quells or controls storms. It is said that an ancestral shadow man rends the very storm clouds from the sky with its might. Abandoned for an age, the sword is badly deteriorated. But what remains of this once mighty weapon is still enough to send foes flying. If wielded in the forest of monoliths, resting place of ancestral spirits, its power to rend the sky might just be reawoken. <clears throat> Demon Brand, a white blade made to be wielded against demons, held for generations by the Bolterian royal family. Paired with its counterpart, Soul Brand to form Northern Regalia. The less demonic the soul of the wielder, the more powerful this blade becomes. Hence, Old King Alan's choice to wield Soul Brand instead. Demon Brand, Demon Brand. If your soul tendency is white, this blade can one hit of evil. Soul Brand, a blade that can cut the very soul, the essence of humanity itself. Held for generations by the Volterian royal family, paired with its counterpart, Demon Brand, to form Northern Regalia. Since his coronation, the sword has never left King Alan's side. The closer the soul, the soul of the wielder is to that of a demon, the more powerful this blade becomes. No wonder it was chosen by Cold King Alan, whose heart grew cold and his humanity said to be non-existent. King Alan being a demon himself. <clears throat> Got a great sword. That's Q. Kilji. That's Q. Jimitar. That's pretty cool. The Hiltless. This Uchi Katana is named for its lack of a hilt. The blade appears somewhat wet. A fine piece of work for an intricate design, forged by a famous swordsmith in a, in a distant eastern land, extremely difficult to handle, owing to the fact that it must be held by the blade, inevitably injuring the wielder and cutting open the palms of their hands, sliding with each attack. The Magic Sword of Makoto a cursed katana that has appeared in folklore. Through the ages, named for Makoto the giant who lived in a distant northern land, countless unique teeth have been carved in its blade. These teeth ravaged the flesh, never to heal again. Cursed weapons like the Makoto are said to devour the wielder's very essence, robbing away at the very warmth their soul in a sense. Innumerable warriors continue to be taken by the Makoto's allure, nevertheless. Some ever returning, or others, blood being spelt by the very blade they sought. The Makoto is said to be strong, to, get, <clears throat> to gain strength with every kill and the blood it absorbed of its victims, thus owning up to its name and the atrociousness of its curse. Cool. Ooh, rape here. <clears throat> yes, stock. Rape here is both great damage despite their narrow attack range, performing well against metal armor and hard skills in particular. However, they are easily parried and do little to break the enemy's guard. They also permit the wielder to attack even with the shield raised, but are better used for parrying rather than blocking the wielder in the left hand. The spiral rapier. A rare rapier with spiral grooves carved into the blade, wielded by the stone gargoyles of Lotaria. Focus on causing pain and bleeding over dealing damage, further evidence of the madness of the old monk. Gary's stiletto. Though this exceedingly small and agile rapier lacks a cutting edge, it is enchanted by a unique spell. Crafted by Gary, known for his magic handicrafts, and 
friend to the sage Frack, the visionary, and drain a small amount of MP from targets. Ooh, the FP rapier, a rapier used in rituals with an intricate gold design, wielded by the members of the secret coterie, who plot to harness the power of souls. Imbued with potent fire spell, this weapon offers a partial explanation for why the group is feared as deeply as it is. The crushing battle axe, a standard axe, a versatile weapon nonetheless, provides normal attacks which are effective against a wide variety of targets. Following through with one swing, though, and connecting will deal an optimal hit, inflicting more damage than normal. But miss, and you're left wide open. Be careful, you will get backstabbed. The Glutteteer, the guillotine axe, an axe that has seen countless beheadings. Short, heavy, and thick of handle, this axe can sever a cervical vertebrae. Vertebrae, cervical vertebrae in a single swing. In many lands, Volteria, in particular, is seen as the tool of an executioner and detested as such. A great axe. This cleaver boasts an incredible heft, I'm just as versatile as an ordinary axe, but the weight of each swing leaves foes reeling, though it requires extraordinary strength to wield. Optimal hits are also more powerful than a standard's axe, but one mishap and you're wide open. Be careful. A club, a coarse and wooden, blunt weapons, which do not rely on blades, are effective against metal armor and hard scales, as well as draining a foe's stamina and breaking their shield defense. Falling through with one swing and connecting will land an optimal hit, inflicting more damage than normal. Morning Star, a hammer with numerous spikes on its circular head, considered a choice weapon amongst warriors of the faith. An extremely effective weapon that has all the merits of a blunt armament, while also causing bleeding from its very vicious spikes. A pickaxe, huh? Dig dug? A pickaxe used by miners at work. Not intended for combat, but the hard protrusion allows it to function as a thrusting weapon, the signature tool of a stone fang miner. <clears throat> a great club! A large wooden club that is fortified with iron spikes. Among the larger weapons which knocks enemies back, this one is made of wood, making it relatively lightweight and easy to handle. Bram. A dreadfully large, crude iron hammer, one of Vinland of Vinland family treasures, said to have been bent into its shape by an old killer of giants. It increases resistance to plague and poison, but impossible to wield by properly by anyone of ordinary strength, even with grasp with both hands. One would be mad not to to try to wield this with not knowing how to wield it properly. The winged spear, a long spear with winged lungs near the tip. Spears function as rapiers with a longer reach. They have a narrow attack range which deal heavy damage. Spears perform well against metal armor and hard skills in particular. However, they are easily parried and do little to break an enemy's guard, though they also allow one to attack with a shield raised. The hands of God. A pair of fists belonging to a man who became a fugless god. Once, there was a mighty warrior who slaughtered dragons with his bare hand. True men would come to worship his very fist, and legends spoke of him as the Big M. Claws. Fist weapons with protruding sharp claws inflict slashing attack. They have a vicious appearance like no other and are normally equipped by the king's spies. <clears throat> Isterella, a short spear that's hard hoke. Covered with engravings, the spear is one of the few remaining relics of God. Once belonged to the holy knight Rosaria, the divine nature of the spear increases its wielder's resistance to plague and poison. The Merid Meridan Hammer, a pole weapon with a hard protrusion, Pole weapons can sweep multiple targets in a single swing, 
but are difficult to handle and require both strength and dexterity to, dexterity to wield properly. The first temple was built in Nurid, a land that fell long ago. A weapon holds special significance for those of the faith. A war scythe, a pole a weapon used for slash attacks. Pole weapons can sweep multiple targets in a single swing, but are difficult to handle and require both strength and dexterity to wield properly. And my god, I need some water after all that. We'll be back after a few messages from our sponsors. Thank you everybody, good night, I love you.